Hi, it's Matt from tracymat.co.uk and here I have another fairly new device from HTC. This is the HTC Touch 3G. Now, as many of you know, the HTC Touch was released about 18 months ago and uh, it really was a landmark device for HTC and it did put them on the map with uh, those that aren't really into Windows Mobile. It did uh, sort of bring the HTC brand to the masses, if you like. Um, very was a very popular device, and this is sort of like an evolution of that. The original HTC Touch, uh, which I have here, um, didn't have uh, 3G, um, had a fairly uh, low spec in terms of processor and, uh, and RAM, and uh, didn't have Wi-Fi, which it was uh, you know, criticised for. There have been sort of newer versions of the Touch itself with um, better spec, and as you see, compare the two side by side, there are obviously obvious comparisons to be made there. But the Touch 3G is that bit slicker, uh, it's a little bit more streamlined, if you like, a little bit narrower, um, and just overall a bit smaller. Interestingly, no forward facing camera, which is unusual for a 3G uh, device, but who really cares? I don't know that many people that use uh, video conferencing uh, over 3G. Um, I certainly haven't, apart from actually just trying it out and you know, establishing that it does work. Um, we have the loudspeaker on the front, then the up-down style buttons with the uh, enter push button in the center, red and green phone keys which are absolutely tiny but no other buttons on the front. There's an up-down style push button which is a sort of rock up-down versus the old slide up and down on the original touch. Uh, on the top we have the power button and then space for our stylus which is non-telescopic, quite small, very thin um, although not too small actually, um, probably gets just about to get away with that um, I'm wondering actually what the optimum size for a stylus is, perhaps that's something we ought to have a look at at some point um, looking on the bottom we have the headphone connector, USB, sync charge all on the one connector as most of us know back we have a 3.2 megapixel camera which is fixed focus but that is an upgrade versus the original HTC Touch and the back should just pop off like so which reveals the battery, the SIM card slot and the micro SD card slot. So we just pop all that back, back together. That's a device in very much in a nutshell, only a QVGA display uh, which is pretty standard. There is a screen protector on here for those of you who can sort of see a bit of reflection. Um, there is the new version of touch flow on there um, which will just hopefully if the battery's charged turn on and while we wait for that to start up just look at the other accessories in the box as you probably appreciate this isn't the full retail packaging but similar accessories to be found I'm sure there is uh, an inline headset wide headset here which is uh, you know, pretty standard let's just have a quick look you can see it's uh, inline style with that proprietary HTC connector, extended mini USB, with inline microphone, push button, and volume control, and then the actual headphones themselves, which are, again, as I say, I've mentioned it before, they're pretty reasonable for headsets that are included in a device, but most people will probably want to use um, their own better quality headphones. There is a USB to mini USB sync charge cable and then there is an adapter for charging which is a standard USB style charger so you know you can use this for charging other accessories products um, as well as using other accessories and products to charge the Touch 3G and if we just kill the lights there and can have a quick look through the touch flow interface. As you can see we have the analog style clock also with a digital time in the corner and pretty similar to touch flow on the touch, original touch and to touch flow 3G we can slide along the bottom to see contacts, we can see messages for text messaging and so on. We then have email, web browser which is uh, Opera now and the YouTube client. There's our camera, there's music, 
which has some music pre-installed and we have weather which you obviously can't download just at the moment we have maps that are actually embedded in on their own tab which is quite cool we have all of our settings and then we have all the quick launch buttons commonly used programs and into the start menu really simple you know standard stuff there's messenger there's our camera settings there's google maps installed quick gps our opera browser rss feed reader type of thing and obviously youtube quick rundown of the spec then 192 meg of ram which is a nice improvement over the original touch 256 meg of rom a uh, whopping 528 megahertz processor which is um, I'd say probably exceptional for a device of this type, which is you know, kind, of, kind of small, kind of sort of towards the lower end of the market. That's 2.8 inch display, which is QVGA. There's HSDPA, WCDMA, it's quad band, Bluetooth 2, has Wi Fi, um, and has built in GPS, as we know, and a micro SD card, 3.2 megapixel camera and a rechargeable 1100 milliamp hour battery. Now I only got this device on loan for a very short period of time so it won't be a full review um, although we might come back to the device in you know, weeks to come for a full review but on this occasion we'll just have uh, very quick comments and a summary and uh, we'll have that online soon.